Blanc. Bobby, how are you doing today? You had a doing great match. Doing good. You had a great match a minute ago. We're gonna Las have Vegas one. team won. <laughs> nice, nice. I, have, I, was wanting, I was pulling for the Kentucky boys, too, because I'm from that part right, of the that country. Area, yeah. yeah, so I didn't really have any favorites. I, I'm kind of glad that Vegas team won. I know them players are all nice, nice guys. This is another team mixed eight ball turn, uh, tournament matchup. It is in the platinum division, and this is a first round match for both of these teams. It's Latin Smoke from Denver, Colorado. They play out of Lil's Place in Denver versus Still Smoking. They play out of Oregon, Ohio, and they play out of a bar called Southside Bar. So big shout out both Southside Bar and Lil's Place. And it's a race of 13. I wish it was a race of 21. Yeah, sometimes, you know. <laughs> Got a good look there. I see Mark Justice. He's ready to play. I don't know if he's going to be first up, but he's standing up there. He hasn't hit a ball yet. Just got in the door. And is this, what is this? Is this scheduled to be like the 3 o'clock match? I mean, what? I, this must be the 4.30 match. I think it's the 4.30 match. But this, I ain't supposed to be here. <laughs> no, you're. I'll just take that off there, Bobby. There, this is, here we are, right there. Thank We're you. just ready Thank to you. go. <laughs> well, for those of you new to this this uh, tournament structure here, it is a race to thirteen. It's a five man team, five on five, and they play a round robin. So each man plays a different person from from round to round to round. That's Jeremy Edwards in the hat, ready to shoot. Got the whole team there in the fedora. It's Tim Roberts sitting in the glasses. It's Gavin Tinky. And their team captain who walked out somewhere along there is Sean Davis. That would be the still smoking team. This is a tough one, Bobby, because we have still smoking and Latin smoke. They're both wearing yeah. black shirts with white lettering. Yeah. There's the team captain, Sean Davis. He needed some air time. I'm getting a headache trying to figure this eight ball out. <laughs> I wish they were playing something easier, like four ball. <laughs> you know. Yep. Yes, sir. Okay, I don't know who's going to put up first here. But I know that Jeremy is sitting out there waiting in the wings. So we'll see who's up on table number one from the Latin Smoke team. Looks like we got it. And that was Mark Justice. He's probably going on table number two. No, no, it's going to be Tim Roberts on table number one and Mark Justice on table number two for the Still Smoking team. They're just going to high five. They're just going to high five. That's minutes. right. That's right. I guess we won't know who the Latin smoke is putting out there until I'm sure they've already said it, but whoever it is is just still smoking with the hat on. I see he's on his shirt. Still smoking. Guy racking, still smoking. Tim Roberts with the fedora. If he's smoking, he's in the right city now. <laughs> you can buy your little hooch now. And the right That's right, both uh, medical and recreational. Right down the street. You can buy you some of them gummies. <laughs> Race 13, this is the platinum division, so. This, this is the platinum division yeah. or, the, or the gold? Yeah, this one's the platinum. You just did a gold match on the last one. This is the oh. first round of the platinum division. And these are like a little better players. Well, they have a higher handicap limit than uh, gold, so. So they can, on have, average, better, they can have better players yeah, on the team. On actually. average, you're going to be able to get better players. 
How many teams was in the Platinum? Oh, I'm not sure. I'm sure George can tell us later on. <laughs> I want to know now. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody will tell us. I don't know. I bet there's more than two. Right. Uh. All right. On, on the table number two, they're going to get started. Looks like I, don't, I can't tell if the, the gentleman who just did sat down. That's Leonard Romero. I don't know if he's going to be playing table uh -oh, number two down on the table number one. Yes, yeah, so Leonard is going to go play at number two. Here it goes. Still smoking with the hat on. Tim Roberts. That's who that breaking. is on the table one? Yes, Tim Roberts from Still Smoking. He's breaking. No idea who he's playing. I can make a guess that it's going to be Larry, Larry Romero because Larry's the only one standing in the background. Solid second ball break. Wide open. Oh, boy. How would you like this run out for your first televised I like, match? I like the way the guy broke. Yeah. Every ball's wide open. If you chose which one, it feels like because of that 2 5 combo, that's the toughest shot on the table. Which 2 really 5. Uh, 3 5, sorry. 3 5. I don't know how to count, Bobby. Plus, I'm colorblind and I can't see. And does the 12 ball go by the 1 ball? If it does. Oh, it does. I'm taking the stripes. I think both are are good. The stripes is uh, I like better myself. Eleven in the corner. Just like that, easy. Don't be messing with the oh. balls. He actually bumped it into even to you a know better what I place. Would do? Run out. No, I would shoot the twelve <laughs> and knock the eight against the rail, which would put me in line perfect with these other two balls. You'd knock Think what against the rail? The one. The one. The one. And if you make the one go against the rail, just bump the one a little bit, then you get straight in on the 10, and you can draw straight back for the, for the 15, watch. Right. But he might be shooting the 15 first, but I like the 12 first. I like the 12 first also. I like the 12 first, and really, if he doesn't get out, I'd be very surprised if he doesn't get out. I, he's he's got to bump he's the one, which would, be, which would put him straight, straight in on, on the, the 10. The yes. Nudge it just a little bitty bit, like maybe knock up it like an inch. I don't no, know why yeah, he doesn't like this this shot. Probably because he's. Yeah. It must be a, a little off angle. It has to be, or else why wouldn't he shoot well, it? I'm telling you. And he and he missed the shot. Here's this the thing. Wow. And I've said this he's before. He's not going to like this. No matter no matter what happens, you got to stay at the table. That's right. And that's why I like shooting the ducks. Sure. If you, you got to shoot ducks. the first shot, you got to shoot a duck because you got to stay at the table. Right. You know, that was the wrong shot. Larry Romero is up and uh, he's facing solids, and because. Because Tim hit that 15 ball and then covered the pocket, now now he's got to do a little negotiating. It's still open. Here. No, no, he made the 11 ball in the corner pocket. Remember up table, 11 ball corner pocket. Oh, that's right, that's right. Yeah, so You're it wasn't right. his first shot, but really the, tw the 12 on the side certainly looked like the best shot from here. But it could have been <coughs> a little bit of a cut shot that we couldn't see. There must have been a reason. reason is he shot the wrong shot. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just joking. But it was. It was. Uh, you know, it I seemed mean, like the 12 was the right shot. Yeah, and just rolled up and straight on the 10. It had been. But and plus he shot a little fast. You know what I mean? And he might have liked the shot better. Maybe a little bit nerves there. He was the first yeah. person up. And here there's a lot of things the, going on in your head. On the lights here, the two ball is going to be the tricky part for Larry. There's one thing for certain. You and I aren't nervous about shooting in these balls. That's right, because so it's, it's easy. It's easy, easy for from us. up here. Easy from up here. Larry's got to wait a little bit. His uh, table two has got a little bit of waiting happening. I could never play good with a hat on. Yeah, I play with a hat, but I'll turn it around, which isn't, it's not. Oh, uh, no, that's tacky. No. Well, you can't do no, that no, here. No. You can't do that here anyway. You shouldn't do it anywhere. See, he's, he wants to turn his hat around. Yeah, I can't see Listen, over the bill. If you're over 16, <laughs> do not turn your hat around, please. <laughs> it's only to play pool. No, it ain't, it ain't about nothing. You should never turn your <laughs> If you're an adult, don't turn your hat around. Oh, and he wanted to knock that two ball up, which he hit, but it didn't go anywhere. So he's. I'd bank he, this 200 mile an hour and just stop Whitey right there. I think he's forced to if he wants to get out because there's no ducking anymore. This, this table is entirely too wide open. I'd bank it. I'd bank the two right now. Just bank it. Go down swinging. Six ball in I the think, corners. I think it goes by the eight, though, the two does. It does, I think. So I think he's either. Oh. I don't. He was trying to bump that out anyway. Well, the but six doesn't. The seven doesn't go the over seven, here. Does the it? seven doesn't go in any, anywhere? It I goes in the same pocket. The three goes, but he is. Looks like he's dead straight. 
you know what? If he had a little bit of an angle there, he could have went forward yep. into the rail and bumped it, got on the two. But he's kind of in this. He's in trouble now. Can he still bank from here, or is that too? Uh, he can stiff it up, you yeah, know, but yeah. it's it's tough. I think he's playing three for the bank. And uh, if he had, has a big stroke, he can draw this all the way back and up and down. No. <laughs> he could, but you'd have to you really. You'd have to really You'd have to really up. hit that go, but that's a good shot. But the table is, is fast, you know. I think he wants to. He's going to convince himself to stroke this ball. What do you think? It's I think he's going to draw back about two or three inches and get straight in on the on two. The, on the bank. Cross corner. And I that would just shoot and stop on the seven. That's probably the best play. We'll know how he's. Yeah, he's not winding up hard enough. I like there it. There you go. No, he's still he's still past the angle. He's got to use he got a left hand English whole lot of left and stiff it up. Left but it and goes. stop. Left and stop. Yeah, it goes. He's got to really just shoot this right. Yeah, you don't have to, you don't have to shoot it hard if you're using left. In fact, that close of a, to the cushion speed isn't going to get you anywhere anyway. Ooh, yeah. well, that's yeah. about as good as he could do. Well, here comes Tim. Here comes uh, Tim Roberts. Still smoking. Tim, I think, is feeling this fortunate is that funny. he gets back Does the 10 go anywhere? <laughs> doesn't look like the 10 goes anywhere. I don't think it, I mean. It might pass the 2. It does. I mean, I think it passes past the 2, you know, if you hit the cushion first. But I wouldn't like to shoot it from that angle. I like to shoot it from the other angle. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But it goes in the side if he can play position for it. Well, he's he's winding up, going around the, around the world here. The tables are probably a little faster here in this corner than anywhere else. You've got about, I don't know how many people are here, thousands of people in, in the room now. These tables are going to get wet. But the air conditioning is going. He must like the 10. In the corner, past the two. Well, that's yeah. Uh, I think he's high here. High on this ball. No, it doesn't go. He done mess, left, mess around, left himself a little bit of a tricky situation. Unless he just goes two rails. Two rails and around and, and go to one of the behind. sides. Yeah. Oh, oh, up table? Either, yeah, either, either pocket on that side. But he's got to get behind it. He left himself a little tricky. Tough first rack for Tim. He broke him great. Yeah. I think he wanted to be straight on. He's I think tough. he likes the 10 and past the 2. But he can't you know get there the anymore. Balls, he's going way down here, right. too. You know, he's right. going deep. Long. Yeah. He's going deep, so the angle out isn't going to favor him at all. No. He's going to be going right toward it. You know, this, this is kind of goofy. All right. He's made his choice. Here we go. He's going to go slow. This is a great shot. I like that shot. Where would you shoot the ball? Corner of the side? I'd probably shoot in the side. I think both are about as equal. Equal ability. Equal e equally difficulty. difficult. Yeah. Right. I'm if like you. I think I would shoot it in the side. If too. this table was really loose pocketed, I'd probably shoot in the corner, but it's not. Yeah, so yeah both good point. He made he it. He made it. What a nice recovery. Yeah. One nothing. Yeah, if it's, if it's a valley, you'd shoot it in the corner. Right. Or you could hit the rail. All right, you could hit the rail three ah, inches. Right. Yeah. Nice recovery by still smoking team Tim he Roberts. About, he about break your hands high five on him for it to pop over here. <laughs> One to nothing, still there smoking. Mark Justice is up on table number two. He's I think he's looking for the bridge. There he goes. Shooting the low balls, I suppose if he gets the five on the side, Bobby is that five on the side easy? Can't tell from here. Looks like it would be from here, but those side pockets in these diamonds are funny because if you get much of an angle, it's like, it's like a sliver. Right. Well, this is okay because the five goes in the side pocket. Uh, the other side pocket, if he wants to just stop that seven there, but he might have an angle. I think I would go forward and hit the 12 and knock it out of the way. I can't tell. I can't tell. <laughs> No, I would. I'd go forward and knock that 12 out of the way. 
Yeah. Hit it, hit it hard enough where the cue ball comes off, just like that. But okay, well, didn't hit it hard enough. He's got a tricky shot on the five ball, but I think if he makes this, he's got a good shot to get out. He's got to be jacked up over the twelve, scaring the side pocket, not not butchering this, and no fouling. A lot going on there, Fred. A lot going on <laughs> there. On the other table, we've got. Did Roland he make it? Luce no, he didn't. Yeah, the other table is Roland Lucero, but and. Uh, Jeremy Edwards, er, Jeremy Edwards from Still Smoking is breaking. Lo Roland Lucero from the Latin Smoke team waiting in the wings. This is Leonard Romero with the high balls looking to run out. Two railer here, 12 ball, two railer around. If he gets underneath the eight ball, I guess he's going to go underneath. He could crash into it. Is he drawing this ball? No, it's got to go to. No, he is drawing this ball just to make sure he doesn't. He got Going there. Court, right? And now what? There's five ball is no good there for that corner pocket, so he can't go around this ball. Where is he shooting it, Bobby? Can't tell from here. Same pocket. Same pocket. Just go to the right side. Yeah, a little top right. Just like that. Maybe the side pocket. Maybe not Swing perfect. In. He's a little short, I think, but I think he's he'd rather be shooting than than watching. Yeah. Definitely shoots just a little bit harder. He's shooting inside. I don't know. He's shooting in the corner. Corner pocket, yeah. He's aiming it up. I've said this before. I have no idea what people are doing when they do that. They're looking at a point. How does it look? Oh, he scratched and he loses. Wow, that's he didn't. That was that that's came out of nowhere there. That's unfortunate. You know, he Mark wasn't even Justice, thinking about that. Mark Justice sneaks off with a win, and that's two, two for still smoking, two nothing. Still Man, he, smoking. that that came out of nowhere. It did. That scratch. All right, this is Jeremy Edwards. He broke the ball, so he's got to deal Look with what them. he just did. Yeah, every ball is getting tied up and tied up. And his team captain, Sean Davis, is going over to the other table, playing Nelson Montierreth. Nelson Montierreth is the only non-Latin in the Latin Smokes team. This rack doesn't look all that pretty. Looks like he's calling the seven ball, unless he's calling the five ball and blasting out. I think he's calling the seven. I can't tell. Can't, I can't tell, tell from these angles. And I hate it when I can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was good, but whatever. Positional shot. You know, this is a. I would just make the 10, then I'd play the 12 and 7 and just whatever. Yeah, this, this is, is a kind of a messy you know. rack here. I mean, if low balls doesn't win from here, I'd be surprised. Missed it. Still sliding. Oh, he did miss nope. it. Well, I figure him to duck here too. Yeah, I just don't really know what what he's doing here. Uh, with, you know, with the three ball all jammed up. Got my pool hall junkies t-shirt on. I see that. I see that. Greatest pool movie of all time. <laughs> of all time. <laughs> Better than the Hustler. <laughs> Better than the kiss shot with Whoopi Goldberg. Yeah. Better ball, than the ball. Baron and the yeah. whatever that was with Johnny Cash. Yeah. Oh, boy, I tell you. Better than Twilight Zone. Movie. Better than the Twilight Zone. Wow, that's strong. Jeremy, is uh, he's got the advantage here, but he doesn't even have a decent shot to shoot. 
not even a decent safety to shoot, so it might as well yes, blast him. He's, he's cutting the two in, there I you know. believe. Yeah. If he makes this and gets on the three ball, he could go wild and shoot the three ball into the 12 ball into the seven ball combination. Or he could go break these balls out right now, but he's a little bit Man, flat. It, right? Yeah. More of an angle, he could fire right into them yeah. and tie up the eight ball. Go off the end rail, bounce <laughs> yeah, off, right. and now he's like, I don't know if he can get enough oomph gusto. Yeah. yeah. I was going to say that. Were you really? Oomph. Um, yeah. And look what he's doing. He's oh, got, I like looks this. Like he's no, I the like seven this. To get a better now, angle. Yeah. Now he can go into this ball, see what happens. I like it. He just I wouldn't hit it easy. Eight, I would hit right. it pretty good speed, and then he might get a shot on the four next. You know? Right. I think ideally he'd like to hit the three. If he hits the 14 and he hit, hits it firm, the one ball is in trouble. And those are the, all the things that can go yeah. on this one. He's got to look at that one ball. He's got to look at the 15, 11, or 13 combination up there with the. He's got to hit it medium hard. See what he does. Perfect. He just oh hit the three ball. God, what a nice shot. Did he hit what that a perfect. nice shot. <laughs> what a beautiful shot. I mean, he hit it yeah, right, right on the money. Right. And it tied up the other two balls. Yeah, he hit it right on the money. Man, what a great shot that was. Does the eight ball pass the ten ball yeah. in the corner? All right, all right. What a good shot that was! I would, you know what he's. This is this can get a little goofy here. Well, he's jacked up here, and he needs to be able to get to the one ball. It'd be nice if he could get on the one now. Right, right. And I bet that's what he tries to do. Just tries draw, to draw right, all the way back. straight back in that alley. I like it. Oh, even better if he no, taps no, no, his eight. No, 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 no. No, he tapped it, but he. Uh, Thought maybe tap and get I mean, it out of there. Had, he needed to get back a lot further than that. Although he can well, still make this. But what happens when he, if <laughs> if he would. Can he hit the three ball, come across the table? What if he gets in the middle of the table on that angle on the three? Now he can't get on the eight. I mean, right. So know? that's why I say maybe he shoots the three ball first and gets the angle on the one ball since he has to go down table anyway. He's He's got a, quite a bit of cut, and it looks like he'd have to hit this with inside. A lot of inside to keep it cue ball right around where he Which is. Which makes it so hard when you're on the rail anyway. Oh, yeah. I think he's going to shoot the one, but I don't know if he. How does he get there? He can't He can't hit this slow enough to keep keep an angle, so. He will. I think he's hitting it slow. He better hope this stops. Well, no, he he's put yeah. it there. He's going to show us something here. You know what he's going to have to do, Freddie? I believe he's just going to have to use maybe in whatever he uses, he's just going to try to get in the Somewhere right here. in the center or so just so he can shoot it. That's a big ball to make because it goes off the 10. You yeah. know what I mean? So he don't, have to get, he don't have to get that good. And with it being frozen, right. it's a pretty easy shot on it if he just gets in the middle of the. I think that one of the big problems is that 14, if he hits it, doesn't it go towards that area if it tickles the 10 or even goes past it? It could. Yeah. It could and mess everything up. Mess everything up. I think he's going to go with top right and just try to go straight ahead. There goes Jeremy rearing back, ready to fire. We'll see what he does. A little top right. Oh, no. Yeah. Well, this ball banks. This is, you know, this isn't too hard of a shot across the side. Right. From, you know? Well, you'd rather be shooting cross side than shooting nothing. Yeah, just hit it thin. Top right, hit it thin. Right English, hit it thin. <laughs> yep, he's. I think he's going to bank it. Yeah. Yes, he is. Top right, and hit about a fourth of the ball or fifth of the ball. I wouldn't know what the fifth is but yeah, versus you the do. fourth. It's somewhere over there. It's a thinnish, <laughs> yeah. thinnish bank the cut, edge, right? Yeah. Just hit the edge. He just doesn't want to spin two rails around in the drink. Exactly. It's going, it's going. No, it's no, just no. Look, long. Look, 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 look. It was wired. That's right. It that's was right. wired to scratch, wasn't it? Was it was wired to scratch. Wired. I was going to say something. I'm like, no, dude, he ain't going to hit it that hard. Well, ball in hand here for Roland Lucero. Problem ball. Is the 13, so I'd it's shoot not the like 11. this is a hanger. I'd shoot like the that. 11. And then 
for the breakout. Yeah, right now. Just give yourself an angle. You got to, you know what I'm saying? I Don't do. you like? For, for the first shot of his, yeah, he his tournament, be. that's a tough first shot. No, 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 he's all right. But with ball in hand, you'd like this. It went right by it. He's got another shot at it. Low left hand angle. Let's ride it right down the rail and right at him. You know, it's not a good sign if he misses the ball that far. With ball in hand. With ball in hand, you know what I mean? Because he should have been right, right on, on the top of the Right mind. on the money there. You know, he should have been right on the money there. Meanwhile, Latin Smoke won the other game over there. It's Gavin. Look, look at this. No, look, he missed, he's he missed all. Yeah, no, he was trying. He's really in trouble. It's Gavin Tinky. He's going to be playing. He's in trouble. And even anywhere he ducks, he's going to leave a pretty easy kick. All right. You know, he can hardly duck here. Gavin is playing Jonathan Lopez of the Latin Smoke team. You know what Gavin I would do here? Tinky. You know what I would do here? I'd bank that 13 cross side. Can't so you just duck right here by giving him the open shot, the eight ball, but he can't cut it in? Where are you going to duck from? He's got such an easy kick, you know? Yeah. I mean, that's yeah, an easy, right. easy, easy kick from there. Then he's got to bank out or I'd bank play the, the 14. I'd bank the 13 right now. Bank the cross side. I like it. You know, and bank it across the side. You got a big pocket. And that's pretty one of the easier banks. Yeah. And if he, 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 he just, what he's doing? He and hurt us. Yeah, and the eight ball makes that pocket huge, so. 13 yeah. cross side. He better, not, he better not use top inks. He's going to scratch in the corner. If he hits his cue ball at 12, he might try it. He doesn't have to hit this hard either because the ball is near the cushion. Nothing he does with speed will influence that. Just a spin. Oh, he faked this out. It's off. Don't you dare hit that. He's going to be in the same position, but at least he's got a shot here. Yeah, that was, that was a pretty easy shot there. He, even if he hits it bad, it goes off the eight. He's going to give himself a tough ending here on this on this game. That 15 just doesn't look as pretty. And you have to be up table to shoot the eight ball in the side. I think it goes in the side. And that's, that's tough. Boy, the eight ball doesn't go in the side, I don't think. Oh, yeah, you know, it goes. It's hanging. Yeah, it's hanging. It goes. It's hanging. I think you need to take a look at that one. <laughs> it's, really? It's, it looks like it's right on the point. No. No, really? We'll looks see. Like it's hanging to me. It I could, must it be might blind. Be, it might be hanging. I'd shoot the 14 here anyway. I would be shooting 12. He's not going to like this. Watch him get straight in on the 14. Then he's going to be it. If he's straight in, he's got he's got his work cut out. <laughs> and now he can't go two rails. All right. He won't even shoot and stop. I would have shot the 14 first. I just would have shot and just left that ball for last sure. year and shoot it down the rail. Sometimes you got to go. Well, he's shooting it down the rail. No, he's. He's right banking down, it. Uh, right down the rail. What, do you think he's going to double bank this ball? He's going to hit with his uh, with inside English. He's going to end up up table. No, no, no good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, timing. So you well, he, you're going to shoot that from there? He's kicking here. Hit the middle diamond with a little bit of right. Yeah. Right? Hit right. right there in the middle. Sure. Hit the middle diamond. A little bit of right. He's got to make it do or die here. It is do or die. Jeremy Edwards sizing it up. He got them pink shoelaces on them tennis shoes. <laughs> See that? I do. That middle diamond, dude, a little bit of right, and you'll be going right at it. You're going right at it. He's going, he's hitting between the diamonds. Yeah. With, no, with, no, with no English. With no ring English. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I think he's going to make it. I think he's going to hit it and not make it. Let's see. I think he's going to swish it. 
Oh, he kicked at it and missed it. Ball in hand again to Mr. Roland Lucero. Get a oh, it's a foul. What's he doing there? Why would he just straight up the tee? You don't have to hit it this hard with this much angle. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Just bunt it in. Whoa. Looked like it turned on the <laughs> didn't it? I think so. All right. Obviously, this is much easier than I yeah, saw. Yeah, you see it's way off the <laughs> point. Is how bad my eyes are. I looked at right down out there. So there's a game for the Latin smoke team to tie it up. On the other table, it's Gavin Tinky who's shooting right now. He's up against Jonathan Lopez. And racking the balls up, it's Leonard Romero. Leonard from Latin Smoke Team. They play out of Lil's Place. While he's racking up, shout out to our sponsors. This is a Key Sports International produced event. We're playing on diamond tables using tournament blue Simonis cloth. Omega Billiard Store. One of our title sponsors, or one of our sponsors. We're using the Cyclop TV ball set. And our other sponsors include Viking Cues, Kamui Tips, and Predator Chalk. Two to two. The Platinum Division Mixed 8-Ball Tournament. Oh boy. Bobby and Pool Hall Junkies, were any of the shots that were shown on, on, uh, in the movie, were any of those shot by you? Hey, stop it. You know they were all shot by me. <laughs> all of them. Unless you could see Mars with his big old <laughs> foot long hand shooting, you know, he's like six six. But all of them were yeah. Is that right? Yeah, I shot them like all the jump shots and bank shots and it was fun. I know the movie was silly, but it was fun. Yeah, it was I it? think that's about what I can say. It was you know, I I like uh Christopher Walken in that movie. Christopher know. Walken's good and everything. Yeah. The shame of a pool movie is like I've told people, if you had the greatest idea for movie ever pool script or whatever you couldn't sell it for 50 cents in hollywood because <laughs> they don't want they won't touch it hollywood won't touch and plus how could you make a pool movie that's good anyway if you think about it <laughs> yeah the only thing you that was, would There's be good it would mean it was bad here we go leonard romero breaking second ball break the only way that you can make a pool movie good in my opinion would be is if you took a guy for example like willie moscone or even even better, Ralph Greenleaf, who mm. was like a Legend. one of the best players ever, who was married to a princess, and he was like, you know, he was barred out all the tournaments for drink and getting drunk <laughs> and trying to gamble with all the players. Greenleaf <laughs> was. Now, some, Ralph Greenleaf, Greenleaf is one of the most interesting people that's ever picked up a cue in the history of pool. Right. Now, something like that would be cool, but in just but trying to make just a pool movie ain't ain't gonna happen. Going from here to there, gambling, blah, blah. I mean, it just <laughs> don't work, you know. There's just no way to. Tim Roberts is, uh, is, is playing against Leonard Romero. Leonard broke dry, and, you know, with all those balls on the table, it just looks like there's more balls than there is space. They don't have no gals on their team, do they? None. None. No, no gals, no broads. Uh-uh, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> It is mixed eight ball. You can. It's all done by Fargo Rates. Tim taking a deep sigh. Looks like the only thing he can shoot is the, the high balls. 
He's got the coolest hat in the joint. I tell you what, I want it. You're, you're a hat kind of guy. I am a hat guy. I've got so many different kind of hats. You know what I have, Bobby? I've got one of those hats that has the ponytail sewn into it. That's what I wear for my Halloween costume. That's it. Just put a ponytail and yeah. hang it at the back. <laughs> he's That's shooting low balls. I think it goes. Oh, he's trying to play a carom. Carom on this first shot, and he smashed at it, didn't he? <laughs> he hit that with harder than most people break. I don't know what he's, you know, this is this is, this is a mess. It is a bit of a mess. Maybe low balls is, is the is the is the suit. Can we not commentate on this game right here? <laughs> we can <laughs> just sit here and watch. Because I don't know what I mean. I don't know what to do. There you go. We'll take a look at the other games since near the end. There we go. Now there's. I know what to say here. Two in the side. Except, except for he's not shooting this. The oh, he's shooting the stripe. Right. Oh, okay. Then he shoots the other one in the corner. That's right. But he's I can one of those balls and, and I can figure there. these patterns out. Oh. Come down for the 12, right, Freddie? That's it. Why don't you mess it up? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's good. Perfect, though. And he's got, he's, look, his stroke, he's fast he, and loose. He's, uh, oh, he's that's got still, the very that's still smoking. It is still smoking. He's got fast, he's stroking he's that stroking, he mouth is. is open, he's ready to rock this ball in. He's excited at this ball in. And just for a stop shot. Look out, look out, <laughs> No, that's cool. He's, 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 he, he's into this, into the game. This is Gavin. If I was playing him, I'd Gavin slow Dickey. him down, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, oh, nice it's out. In there for another Good out. another bead for still now, smoking. Now we're, now we're back over here to the chess game. Well, look at this. If the third, if he could sneak that thirteen in there. Well, I think he was trying to figure rub it out. In there? I don't think so. Not on these tables. No, that's a little too much of an angle. A little bit less he could make it, but he may fly this ball with inside and go right into it from the top side. How's he going to avoid the six? He's going to avoid hit the six and then he'll miss the whole thing. <laughs> Let's see what happens. What? Yeah, I mean that's what he's got to look at. If he can come up there and not hit the six ball, then and it comes hit it in the middle there? somewhere up there. Now listen, you're getting a little technical there on that shot. Here we, well, you know, when, when desperate times, desperate <laughs> times could call for def desperate commentating. No, he's abandoning it. No. Right. He's going to bank that 13. He might, huh? He might. He's got nothing better to do with it. He might want to bank it right now. He's got the best. If he's going to try to run out, this might be the might best Might as angle. well go then. Because I don't think he's going to ever get a spot. He's not going to get a chance to tear it out. You know? Well, maybe he'll try to play it for an even better angle. One straight at it instead of he's back He's thinking about it. banging it, though. He's looking at that option. He's looking at that option, but... He's got, I like his stroke, so I think this, you know, this guy looks like he plays pretty decent, you know? Well, they all do. Yeah. Leonard's Fargo rate is a 614. That's pretty good That's rating. That's pretty good. Yeah. You know, we've seen. Compared them back to two yesterday, it was like 580s. They look like Shane playing. Yeah, you know, we've seen the upper 500s be a pretty good player. Yeah. But he's going to run out of uh, balls to be shooting at this 13 because it's still over there. <laughs> it, takes him, it, it, it might go, go in the <laughs> corner. It, he might slip it through there by the one. You know, it's going to be close, it's but he's going to have to. God, it's so close. It is close. It's you know, close. If, but it's, if either ball was over just a hair, the one or the 13, it would go. But it's just, you know, it's. it's it, it probably goes straight in without even doing anything. If he plays here straight on the 12, the 10 ball, then. Uh oh. Oh, no. no well, I can't he's going to be banking now. Banking for the win. Cross the side. Sometimes I don't mind that either, but if you can just get to the bank, do it as your last ball and say, the <laughs> be yeah. done with it. But usually that's in the corner, you know. He's got to get good here, though, in this bank. He wants to get, he don't want to get like. He looks like he's, is he winding up? No, okay, there he is. No, he got good. He got good. Another okay. inch would have been all right. 
and the eight ball, it might pass the seven ball if you had to. Does it pa pass uh, the five ball down the left corner? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so either. But no, then the, then the by the seven ball doesn't look good, good either. He might be trying to go three rails or something or whatever and shoot the eight in the side. You well, know? Yeah. I don't really know where the cue ball is going. He might. I think just follow forward. Uh, all right. Well, if he makes it by the, it goes. It goes. I think it goes. If it goes, that's, that's quite a nice run out. I tell you that it does go. Yeah. yeah. Vince has got us like right on the money. <laughs> <laughs> Leonard Romero doing that lining up thing. Do you do that? No. I, I don't even know what people do when they do I don't do think that. I've ever pointed in my life. That's it's right down thing, the middle. You know, Maybe I need to. That's a great run-out. It's run a out. new thing, though, you know. And I, you know, I tell you, boy, I watched a match a couple of days ago with this young girl playing, this Asian girl. She played good, but I'm telling you, every shot she was pointing, pointing. Pointing, pointing. And I'm it, believe me when I tell you, you can't develop a rhythm like that. It, it every doesn't shot seem is, like Every shot to. is like the first shot, you know. Right. Where if you're if you're running out and just just go for one ball to the next and shoot 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 shoot, you develop a a rhythm a rhythm a rhythm a rhythm. You That's develop right. a rhythm. You're looking at Nelson Montierth, but it's a fact. It is absolutely a you fact. Know? The only professional player I've seen pointing is Johnny Archer, but sometimes that well, that's in between picking the limp. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he sh he was player of the decade. Right. And Oscar just beat him. Yep. At that ma at that challenge match recently. Here goes Nelson, ready to put down some big thunder. This is Latin smokers, <laughs> ain't it? Yeah. Yes, it is. It's a Latin sm Latin smoke. <laughs> Look at these balls. Oh, those balls broke exactly the same oh way. Oh Lord! Wow. Ah, <laughs> uh, you Ouch. know what I would do if it was me. Free break. I would, <laughs> no, I'd stop all that second ball break because everything keeps getting clustered up. I would hit and put the cue ball off the rail, not far, about a foot and a half, mm -hmm. shoot off the rail and hit them right straight in the middle. Head ball break, get it right wide in the open. middle because some tables break like this. Right. You know, and if this keeps happening. It'll drive us nuts. It'll drive, I'm already <laughs> nuts. <laughs> but, you, I mean, but really, you got to break head on, straight head on, straight, straight head on. And the cue ball, if you hit him solid, the right, cue ball comes right straight back. This That's what I would do. Jeremy Edwards. That's my only suggestion for that. I, I think um, I don't mind the suggestion at all. I like hitting them hard anyway, you know. That second ball breaks so far. Every time they break, it's like this. It's like this. And, and can nobody. Once, well, in, maybe a, once in a while, they catch well, but. Maybe they like playing like this. I guess. I wouldn't know what to do here. It's like There's just nothing you can look do. at all the tied up balls. The nine look at the way they're coupled together. The nine two, the eight six, the one fifteen. There's nothing you can do here and there's no there's no right or wrong here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now Meanwhile, now Mark, we're Mark talking. Justice is back cutting the eight ball right into the pocket and he's taken Is that still smoking? That is still smoking. Mark Justice. Yeah. Over Roland Lucero. They get another bead, four to three, still smoking. Back at the action with Jeremy. Jeremy of still smoking. There's just a lot of mess there. I suppose you can There's stop this three ball here. and then it don't shoot matter the what six. You do here. There's got to be a lot of moving. You know what I would do? I'd shoot the five right now and come back crashing into the balls. Oh. I'd use low right and come in. He's know. playing a combination here. He can do that in the first shot. Yeah. He better shoot some more combinations. <laughs> <laughs> Good. From here, I just don't know. If you shoot off another couple of balls, you're digging a hole. That's right. And and really, at this point, after that shot, looks like the low balls are the better balls. And he's he shot a high. Uh, he is low balls. Okay. He is low balls. So he's got an opportunity to get out if the six ball passes the 12, but I don't think it does. But if he can get to the three ball, which goes... I think he can get to the six ball. He's a, he's a, this is just a mess. 
Maybe he can draw over to the right. He's going. He's going right into the. Uh, he put so much effort into knocking into that. Look at that. Look well, now. Look what he did. Safety. That's brutal. Here comes Nelson. If he gets ball in hand, which ball would you shoot first? If I were high balls. Low. Well, if he's high balls, but if I were low balls, probably the six ball. If I could ball the six in hand, ball, I'd shoot the three. Three ball. <coughs> three ball's good. Yeah. Three ball's good. That's what he was going for anyway. I mean, he was trying to yeah. play the ball in the side pocket, and I think he was trying to go right into the 14. If he had done that, he'd be right there for the three ball. But uh, Nelson is high balls, and he can just get a lick of that 11 maybe. How would you oh. like that? The guy misses, and he's hooked on every ball on the table. I don't think he can hit it. I don't either. If look at the table, he can't hit it. Monitor, you can't oh, tell. Goodness. But you can see from the, the table, table it looks like, like I can't tell. Easy he's, to he's kick kicking. anyway. He's kicking, but he's kicking to a ball that's in the middle of the table that's being blocked by a whole bunch of other balls. You know, so if, if he doesn't drive that 11 ball straight to the cushion. You just kick, I'd kick it pretty hard. It's nothing can't hurt nothing. Oh, he can hit it. He can hit it like this, a little slight curve. Yeah. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Good shot. It's a survival shot. Well, he's going to have to fight for this. Both these guys are going to have to fight for this rack. Giving me a headache trying to figure out these patterns and these balls. Seven in the corner. I just don't know here. If he missed it. It scooted. Yeah, it's See looked it? like it looked like it's it looked like it skidded. It did watch right on contact. It skidded. Watch. See it? Yeah. Little, did, could little, you see it? Bit. Yeah, it looks like it. A it looked bit. like it did on there. Just say it did. Make of me look like it I know did. I'm saying, of course Freddy? it did. <laughs> well, do you do you fire at this 14 and just go right into these balls as oh. much as these balls you can? The only ball that moved are the other balls. Well, he's got he's got some work here because if he can make this 15, I think the 15, then he can play the 12 ball. Knock some balls yeah. loose. I'd shoot the 15 and play the 12 next and turn the balls loose and leave the 10 where it is for yes, insurance. For insurance. Yeah, in case you got jacked. Wait, where are you going? Hold it. Better hurry. He got there on the 12. Did he? I think I he did. I think he did. Okay. I think right, he did. And he yeah. should try to split. No, 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 no. Oh, didn't know he could hit that. There you go. Well, nice shot. Now the thirteen. My God, that's a nice ball. shot. Thirteen becomes a tough ball, and look what happened. Whatever ball he just hit in the corner, after it sat there for a second, it dropped. So he's got a couple of. Uh, he's opened up that corner he if the thirteen passes. Well, no, he's going to try to get the shoot thir go two rails and shoot the th thirteen the side, huh? Yeah, I think that's what he was going to do, no matter what. But. He's short here, see? So no, because the 13 no, goes, goes in now. The corner. Right, because the ball just dropped. It was sitting there, yeah, just hanging yeah. there, and it just fell, so it opened up a hole for him. My God, this turned out nice. It did turn out nice, because a second ago, there was no yeah, chance. Yeah, they were jammed up, too. We got another guy over here still smoking. He's fixing to win this game. No, he's from uh, Latin. Oh, yeah, he's a smoker. He's, he's a, a Latin smoker. Well, they're fixing to win two in a row. Look at this shot he just made. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at this ball fall off in the side. Oh, no. Jeez, Louise. Nelson did scratched you, off of that. You one. should see how it just fell off in the side. Oh, boy. Over here on table one. I mean, it was like, I'm telling you, it looked like it just picked up speed, went right toward right the side. Right to that side pocket and got yeah. swallowed. Man, that is a fluke. That was really a fluke. And he hit that ball down there good. A lot of inside to go toward the ball. All right. Man, that was the freakiest thing I've ever seen. 
I think you don't go wrong here by shooting the five ball or the four ball. I like the five ball. But then after you make this five three, I like I like going for the four ball after the three ball. That way you're free for everything else. You know, just slide down. I'd leave the, yeah, I'd leave the, the six for last. And he didn't get there in the four, so he's playing the one. Definitely the six for the last. Mm -hmm. Shoot and stop. You just got to make sure that you're about as straight as possible on this four so you don't it doesn't get away from you. It's okay to be high of it, but not, you know, we were talking about a couple of degrees, any more than that, and suddenly you're going up and down the table. So I'd rather just go ahead and make it as straight as possible. Is he on the wrong side? Yep. <laughs> so he's got to go forward or three Inside rails. Inside. Yeah. Which one do you do, Bobby? Inside here? I think I would. He's Just good. like that. Yeah, he had it good. Draw the ball, shoot the six in the same corner. I mean the eight. Yeah. With a low right-hand English. Yeah. He should just barely get to the cushion and kick out. He's not doing that. Oh, yeah, he's all right. There it is. Kick out. Still smoking. Still smoking is still he's smoking. still smoking. They, and now it's five to four. He shoots good. That was a good game there. I like the way Nelson really, I think he solved it and then got a little bit of a bad roll getting <coughs> in that side pocket. Unreal height fell off there. Just picked up speed and just won't. Yeah. Right down the gar hole. <laughs> <laughs> just like it got caught in there, got in the rut. You know what that means, a gar hole, don't you? Do you know what that is? No, what are you talking about? You know about? what a gar is? Like a gator gar? A gar is a fish. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they have like they actually got teeth. Yeah, oh yeah. And they're in the south, and they actually live in holes in the water. Yeah, yeah. So they go down the gar hole. Yeah, I think they call those gator gars because the fish yeah. itself looks like it does has a, has a out beak out on it, mm -hmm, yeah. and they will bite. Oh yeah. When I used to fish years ago, I ain't been fishing in fifty years. I was just fishing, not I coaching. Never, I won't go again either. I don't like it. Okay, well, it looks like Roland Lucero is also is, is up, and uh, the breaker is going to be Tim Roberts. No, nobody's playing yet, so. Here he comes, Here Tim he comes. Roberts of the Fedora. Tim's first break was excellent. I think he also went off a second ball break. He did. And he hit some solid, too. He broke them good. Let's see if he gets the same reaction. Yeah, because the last two second ball breaks just didn't break up at all. He may have used the magic rack, though, because they tried it, and then uh, magic rack's off the table. I think they're using the regular rack now. Here he goes. Thump. Let's see. Yes. I'm telling you, clumping up. every every rack, all the balls get on one side of the table. Look. Yeah, there every, it is. All the, all the balls except two are on the right side of the table. The one in thirteen is the only ball on the other side of the diamond. Right, and it's been happening like that every break. You got to hit, you got to hit center ball. Well, Bobby, it looks like if he takes low balls and gets up table to the four ball, that should tap out the two ball, and he's got this seven and and whatever this ball is underneath this jock hand three ball. So something to get up table for the you're, four ball. You're an instructor down there in San Diego, aren't you? I do instructing. Uh, I know. I've heard good things about you. I know you're a good teacher. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. He's got to get high in this ball. I think he's good. Can he? Oh, well, maybe he's gotten down too far, but he's got to do something to break out that two ball. You'd hate to draw into it at this point because you'd rather run down table. Yeah. And he's got the little bit of a, you can't tell, but he's smirking. Oh, he just gave a little bit of a head shake. Uh, <laughs> just a touch the of a head shake. <laughs> like, <laughs> just barely. He'll draw into these balls. Powered That's out. a pretty good shot pretty there. Good shot. Well, pretty, good, pretty good shot. Pretty good shot. Pretty good shot. Pretty good lead. Pretty good everything. You know, he recognized he had to do it because he's committed to running balls. I know one thing. I wouldn't want to be, but I could get out from here. This is a tough little setup here. Tricky shot. If, if the seven goes there. in the corner down there, he's got a shot. He's going to run into the 13 here. He's oh. drawing the ball. Okay. Just don't don't screw up this five ball. Oh, the seven ball is no good. 
We're going to have to see another bank here. I know. He's bank out. He's in a he's in a pickle. Eight ball goes in the corner pocket, though, once the three ball is out of there. You could make the five ball and try to crash out the nine. That might not be a bad option. Trying it. Five ball crashing out the nine. He'd like to hit it full in the face, the nine ball. Well, he scratched and he tied up his seven. Here comes Tim Roberts. That was a little bit unfortunate for Roland. He tried it. He had a nice breakout. But couldn't get the second breakout. Well, interesting first shot. Looks like he's going to drive the 15 into the eight ball. Pocket the 11. Maybe the 15 goes down table for a breakout shot. I don't think it, the 15 can do anything. Is that what he's doing? Or he's not shooting the 12. He's shooting the 15 into the eight right. make to make 11. Hoping that he thinks the eight's going to hit these balls and knock these off the rail. But probably just going to get well, tired. Hoping the eight don't shoot in the corner. <laughs> That's right. You know? Here we go. I think he's just going to rub across the eight. I like his idea. He was trying to. Fifteen's <laughs> right back, pretty much back where he started from. <laughs> yeah. Looks like he's going to have to play a 10-9 combination. He gave the head nod. Yep, the head nod. Yeah. That, that's the. The side head <laughs> nod he went. Yeah. Everybody's <laughs> got their move. I know. A show of disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> He gave the old side head nod. I don't know which is worse, the hand flip or the, or the head nod. Well, the head nod was like, okay, that's what I got. <laughs> and, oh, no, he's going to be head nodding here. Uh-oh. No. Yeah, he gave the, the shoulder. Shake, he gave the, no, no, shoulder shrug. Shoulder, it was a shoulder, shoulder shrug. shrug. Okay. We got to stop that. Is, is it this funny? I can't quit laughing. <laughs> oh, Lord. Well, it's funny, though, you know, because like, everybody's got their own little the yeah. little quirks and what yeah. they do after a bad shot, bad leave. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I usually take the piece of chalk on the table and pound it into the yeah, table. Yeah, smack it on the yeah, table. Right. You know, the first person I ever saw do that was Ava Mataya. She was playing that snooker pool challenge. First time anybody in the United States ever saw Allison Fisher there playing a snooker pool challenge they did it on espn and ava duffed a shot or came up short and she grabbed that shot and just it. smashed it on the table it didn't break or anything like that but she i saw that it. and said you know what i like that move <laughs> so i adopted it <laughs> if i'm playing somebody kind of gets my nerves i always smack the chalk in there i always put it on there upside down where chalk gets everywhere mm. <laughs> uh, we'll see what he's going to do here He's going, he's doing, trying to break these b two balls out, the seven and ten. Well, he moved oh, them. Oh, man, he should have hit it hard. That's them shots. You got to go ahead and hit it hard. Smash. Well, it looks like the bank is going to happen if he can if get the cue ball out of the way. he's going to bank it, he better bank it now. Right, because he can't get the cue ball out of the way if he's not, if he's got the wrong angle. We've had a couple of bank outs, haven't we, in this set? He just has to get it to the rail. Do you? Can you bank Boy, that from there? Boy, he got there? it good, too. Yeah, just he's got to step banks. it up a little bit. Step it up a little bit of left English, you know what I mean? Cut it a little bit. Oh, he got good. Yeah, if he's not, he, if he's not throw spin opening up this bank? I don't think so. I can't tell from here real close, but. Well, he got about, he got about as good as he can get, it looks like. It looks like it. You know call, what? But call a referee over here. I tell you something else. So if he banks this ball, he, he could get to where there's no pocket for the eight. Yeah. On either corner. If Unless this he ten goes ball hits the left side of the nine, it was a good hit. If it hits the middle or the right side of the nine, it was a bad hit. Yeah. Oh, look at that! Left side of the nine, good hit. He needed to hit it slower with out with with spin to open that up. And that's. Uh, I'm sure he tried that. That was Latin smoke, too. That Still was, smoking. Now he's got an open smoke. table. This should Still be. Still smoking is up. This is Tim Roberts, open table, starting, I think, with a 10. 
I think the 14 is the tough ball up there. Look at the roll that guy just got. Hit the ball, skim that ball and scratch. And scratch. Yeah, that was an unlucky roll that he got. All right, while Tim is figuring that out, we're going to take a look at table number two at Gavin Tinky. He's playing Larry Romero. Larry's the team captain of Latin Smoke. Gavin has got the fast warm-up strokes, like he's starting to fire. Is he there now? Yeah. Oh, he's shooting right now. Yeah. Well, he's high balls here, and it it looks like it looks like I'd rather play the eleven ball. I think this is all he got ball in. This is all all right, don't you think? Well, where does he got to go? Oh, he, okay, so he's got. Uh, I didn't realize that 11 was so clear. He's just going to let this ball slide a, a bit and play a two-railer around the five He ball. can come behind it, shoot yeah. the eight down there, just yeah. low left. Yeah, one railer around the five. Float around, yeah. Yeah, that's right. He wants to be as I think he wants to be as straight as possible on this. He doesn't want to really cut no, this angle. in and let he that needs ball. angle. That's perfect. Now just hit this cue ball at 7 o'clock and go right into the <laughs> rail on the side and shoot the eight in the corner. Just don't scratch. Don't even scare the pocket. He should go, go into the middle diamond. He's hitting it with center ball. It looks like even he's, hit, he's hitting it with inside English for some reason. Just like it's that's good, perfect. Look at this. Four ball. See that? He didn't. Uh, he really just needs to hit that on the outside. I don't know. He hit that with flat ball, and then he hit it pretty, pretty firmly. It just took a regular two rail pattern. A little yeah, like to see that ball die on the end of the side rail. It's unlikely how he hit that ball. You know, he's, he needs it. You need to have that pause. You don't. He's just stroking All right. pretty fast. But it's kind of why I said you want to get this as straight as possible. Not dead straight because he couldn't get dead straight, yeah. but as straight as possible. So he just, you know, bunts it in. It's going that way. Meanwhile, Tim Roberts, with the ball in hand, looks like he's going to get out. And he does. Nice out. Nice, nice out there. Another bead. Another bead. Here comes Mark Justice for Still Smoking. Looks like he's playing Nelson Montierth. Gavin looks like he's kicking behind this ball. If he can kick behind it, I don't think he can kick it down table. You know, my friend. Um, can he kick at this ball? Well, he looks like he can kick to hit this ball. I don't know if he can hit this thick enough to go across corner. He's, he's kicking. He may be kicking in like this. Down the rail, he had, he had the shot at it. And look at this leave. Oh. Can he make this ball? He can make can it. Can he make yeah, it without yeah. scratching? Yeah, I think okay. so, yeah. Yeah. Let's look at the monitor. Doesn't the yeah, monitor make it look use, brutal? Can, yeah, it does. On the table, you can see he can use top English and just roll just it roll down. Yeah, roll down to the rail. And this is the break over here. I uh, can uh, mark you know, those the every rack. Break. The every same thing over there. Every rack over there. For the last two days, every time they break the balls, everything's jammed. Tough first shot. Man. Well, you know, I would have uh, every ball would move here if I shot this shot, and that's because I dropped the bridge. <laughs> yeah. And this uh, clear bridge is really nice, except for it. I'm feeling I need to see more of the bridge, but people like this bridge, and it is the Kamui bridge, so got to check it out. I need to put one in my hands to see if I can get used to it. It's nice. Yeah. 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 Looks like it's optical grade acrylic. Bet you you didn't expect to be talking about optical grade acrylic when you came into the booth, Bobby. You're, you're a smart man. I, don't uh, surprise me. I am a plastics guy. Plastics is my business. Don't surprise me.
Well, look at these balls. This will you? Just a tough, tough, tough. I can't even tell what he, I guess it's open. So he's make, shooting a three ball combination off the foot rail. What kind of first shot do you got to have to shoot the three <laughs> triple combination I in the middle of the it. table? Yeah, it, w it wasn't an easy one, not in anybody's imagination. Well, well he's got low balls. You see those three balls lined up the four, yeah. seven, and five. Looks like a drill. Some kind of drill. Meanwhile, it's like a Mike Massey trick shot. Yeah. Meanwhile, Larry Romero is taking care of business, running out that rack. That's Latin smoke over there winning. Latin is smoke. Is this going to go on the, to the hill? It probably. Six to five now. Still smoking, still in the lead, and still smoking. Meanwhile. Nelson Montier is trying to clean this up. That wa it was quite a quite a mess, but looks like he's going to get there. Can he get make play the one ball and get on top of these balls, or, or does he have to shoot the the set four wouldn't ball? Wouldn't that first? be something he could go up that alley and just, just somehow just get right on top, pick them right off, and then it'd be like a one pocket yeah game with Efren shooting them, <laughs> staying on top of the balls. Yeah, that would be something he could go in that. And he, he's like, right. It looks like he can get in there. He looks at Stun with just a hair of left. Oh, Stun just and to get over oh. there. Okay. All right. Cut and slide. This one is in such danger of throwing or skidding, right? Because he's got to just slide this over. It's sort of like a stun, maybe a little draw, but miss the seven ball. You know how I would hit this ball? How would you hit this ball? I'd hit this ball with a low stroke with seven o'clock, sh come straight, straight back, back out. Straight back over there. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You're right, yeah. Kind of so drag the cue drag, ball. Drag with just a touch of inside. That's right, and yeah. hits the rail and comes straight out to shoot the four yeah. six. You're definitely maximizing the shot. Maximizing your hit, throw. When you draw the ball, you miss these balls. Yeah, but he hit the ball, so no, he doesn't have he's a shot. Dead. Goodbye. Yeah, you really need to put a lot of effort into missing that ball. Short stroke, draw right over there, pop back out. Now he's got to look for a duck, I think. I don't think the four ball goes. No, he doesn't go there. I don't think he's got nothing to do here. He's in a world of trouble here. You know, you just got there's like no shot here. You know, there's nothing. There's just nothing. There's no, sh I just don't see any way to win here. Do you? When nope, there's nope. When there's no shot, there's no safety, there's nothing you can do. There's no way to, w you just can't win from here. There isn't even a combination bank because the 10, nothing. 12 are in the way, I believe. Unless he's going to think he can cut this 4-7 and, and slam it 100 miles an hour. And well, he's called the no, no, something he, he's someplace. Got nothing. He's the something dead. someplace. Yeah. It went. He played that shot. He played that he shot. He played that shot. So those that. balls must have been farther apart it, than we yeah, saw. Yeah, it looked like it was. It looked they like, like they're almost, they're almost, almost frozen. Yeah, he had room. He, then he got a bad. Yeah, he got unlucky there not to get really, a shot. And he hit it good too. Whoa! Now he's really in trouble. <laughs> he was in trouble last. He was shot. in trouble he, last, shot. and he made it. So he's probably got. Didn't look like he'd make. Like it didn't look like he would go. Did it? So I probably just put this right in the center of the pocket and get out. <laughs> Well, he's got to kick at it and try to kick it in, the, in this lower left corner. I got to give a shout out to their team captain, Sean Davis. I don't think that we've actually seen him shoot on this table one yet. But this is Nelson from Latin Smoke. You can take a good look at Nelson and He's part of the Latin Smoke team out of Denver, Colorado. Kicking the four ball. Well, he hit it. As good as he can do. Yeah, didn't tie up the pocket. As good as he could do, but he just didn't. I think he's in trouble. Yeah. This is Mark Justice of Still Smoking. I think I he's know, playing yeah. down for the 12. He wanted to make sure these balls and 
kind of kind of hanging out. These are the tough balls. So make one. Don't tie up the four, the fifteen, and you should be okay. Probably like just drawing off there and playing the nine next. Well, anything is okay, I guess. Is he gonna get straight on the nine? Yep. Why not? He's good. Why not? He got good. He shoots fast. <laughs> good job. Mark Justice trying to wrap this game up for still smoking, and he did it. That's still smoking there, huh? Still smoking. Mark Justice over Nelson Montierth. Who's up next? <coughs> Who's up next indeed? Who's on first? Oh, here we go. It's Sean Davis, the team captain. He's going to be up there. But on the other table, while Sean is racking, taking a look at Jonathan Lopez. <sighs> When we switch over to this TV, we don't have the high definition going. Eight balls hanging in the side pocket. Looks like, well, if the 12 ball looks to be the tough ball there, I don't know if it actually passes anything. No, thank there you. you go. It might go into the bottom right corner, but you'd only be able to attack it from a now certain let's angle. Let's see if this guy here on table one breaks. Don't hit the second ball. He's hitting the second ball break again. It looks like it is. And I'll tell you in a minute when he lines up. Head ball. He's hitting the head, head ball, ball on the side, yeah. Oh, yeah, and he put his whole body into it. They broke better though. They broke not at least nothing's is not in the center of the table, the balls, but if the four two if the four two no, the four two doesn't do anything here, but he might be able to break him out shooting the six ball in the side pocket if he shoots that ball first. They jammed up once again. Those balls don't go, the four don't go, the eleven thirteen don't go, nothing goes. <laughs> nothing goes. <laughs> He's gonna Nothing goes. Nothing goes. Well, th if the 7-3 is a good combination, is it an off combination? He can make it that. Goes, he yeah. can make that. So I, I think he's hitting the six ball and nudging a 4-2. The second thing he should do here is shoot that six and hit that four and two. He might do it first. If it's, he, if he can hit there, yeah, he should do it, it right now. now. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's, just, that's the shot you got to get out of there. He's got to pay attention to the nine. I'm If he could get to the two, that I think that'd be my better option. But I don't think he can get there. I think he's automatically into the four ball, which is probably all right. The two nine ball will probably just go across the table. Into the, it might even go in the hole. That's, that's a winning shot there, isn't it? I like it. Now attack that 7-3 and you're... Goldane. I think I would shoot the two and try yeah. to draw a little bit draw closer a little bit, get, back. Get a good angle on the 7-3. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I would do also. Because you're like right in the center of the table, draw back to between the side pockets, you know, yeah. get the right angle. That's exactly what I would do, Mr. Cotton. Well, it was your idea. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the right shot. Pick the lint first. Oh, boy. I tell you, you, you know start you down made, the wrong. And if, and if you made the seven three, you could float Go back up and shoot the five. Sure. Bada bing. Bada boom. And if he gets the wrong angle, he might go two rails around the five. Well, he's telling me there that that seven three is so easy, he might leave it for later. I'm not sure I agree with that. Or maybe it was just so stretched out that he just. Yeah. You don't want to run out of balls down here because when you play the 7-3 combination, you want to make sure you've got something. Yeah. Chalk your stick. Draw straight back to the center of the table, I think.
just like that. That's I good. like it. Now you can oh, play like this it. and float across or float down. I just hit 12 o'clock, hit right. the short rail, and come straight right. back up. And I like that. Seven gets, moves over a little bit to the right. right. Oh, yeah, it's nice. Right. You can actually play position on the five or two, just, c in, just, just in case. Exactly. You know, matter of fact. Play for the five, and the seven ball will just kind of hang out there. All right. I would shoot this and play position on the five in the left corner. Mm -hmm. Right, Freddie? That's what I would do as well. We are in agreement, sir. Yes. Because if the seven gets anywhere near the rail, it's easy to go from the seven to the one. Well, he's, me he's measuring me. He's making mm -hmm. sure. So maybe this doesn't go as easily as it looks on the monitor. Yeah, I can't tell exactly, but I believe he'll make it. I've gotten better at my combinations like this. If once I've lined it like he just did, uh -huh. that wherever it's going to the rail, that's where I'm cutting the ball to. That's where you aim it for. You're right, right. You aim. I mean, he's hitting low, like he's going two rails around. Um, I wouldn't. I mean, I, I don't know about that, but I think he's okay. Oof. He could have gotten himself into trouble. Yeah. But that ball was thinner, a thinner it, cut than yeah. we thought. So he had to go. He yeah. Had to go. For the it. seven was. Yeah. And now he doesn't want to touch the seven if it goes. I think he can draw to the rail, can he? Side I would think so that he'd just use low right hand English, just miss yeah. the seven and let the English pop it out. Maybe like a five o'clock or Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Tough angle to see. I think he's gonna get there. Just like that. Nice shot. Oh yeah. Perfecto. I love it. Is that still smoking? Yeah. It is still smoking. Yeah, that's a nice shot he made. Now nice. that eight ball only goes into the corner pocket that the one ball goes into. Yeah, or the side. Or the, it, side. Or the side. I don't think you want to be on the inside of the one ball inside to the rail because you'd, you'd go crashing into the 15. He's picked up a lint habit. <laughs> you almost want to be straight or below that one line, but you'd hate to go so far that you're on, you know, behind the eight ball. He's short. No, he's fine. I think he's just going to play position for the eight inside. Side. I don't know. I believe. Yeah, I yeah. believe that's what he's going to do. Yeah, why not? Oh, more lint. More lint. <laughs> it's okay. As long as balls are going in the hole. That's right. You can see in the background Jeremy Edwards shooting. Oh, just hung that ball. Just hung that ball because he was shooting on the eight ball next. Boy, I'd be tempted to just draw this, draw this straight back. That's nice. Straight in. Very nicely done. Sean Davis, the captain, gets out. Another one for still smoking. Gavin Tinky to rack. And on the other table, got Jonathan Lopez trying to run out. You can see here there's a ball hanging in the pocket, a solid that is going to give him problems. He's given a lot of hand flip, and you can't see him, but that's a big hand flip. Jonathan looks like he's rearing back and firing his shot. Oh, he got away with it. Bumped into the eight ball. And it looks like he's got a shot up table with the 12. He's going to go into the eight. So he may hit this firm and get the eight ball even higher up. Because, yes, he hit it firm. Why got the eight ball higher. Moved the eight ball. Because the eight ball didn't go anywhere. He hit it 100 miles an hour. He did hit it 100 miles an hour. He only had to hit it about five miles an hour. Maybe 10 miles an hour. 
Yeah, he hit it so hard. Jeremy Edwards trying to close this one out for still smoking. Playing it in the side pocket. Yep. And another one for still smoking. They're starting to run. It's now nine to five, still smoking. Well, look, this look like a better break. We got all these solids go. Look, these are all hanging. Yeah, he's got a good shot to break and run here. I'd get that four out four, of there. I do. I would too. I'll tell you that right now. People listening to this uh, stream probably have just can't understand why I would ever want that four out, but that four ball I'd will shoot haunt it you. I'd shoot the two, and draw, draw back, back an back inch, and shoot that. Bang, bada bing. You lose so many options leaving that ball there in the center of the table. Yeah, he's looking at it next. He yeah. knows. He knows. These guys know. It looks like he's perfect just to draw back like a couple of inches, like two inches an inch. Yeah. The way he, you know, is, his warm up so he, fast. Yeah, it's not. He's got to it, slow down. Speed, man. It messed yeah. your speed up. He did that earlier. You got to have the. He needs a pause. Me and Freddie teach the pause. That's right. Yeah, because if you want to hit something slow, at what point in the warm up strokes does do you slow pull the trigger? Right. And he was, well, he got there, you know. Good shot. If that's the way he plays, that's the way he plays. Oh. But it's just not. Um, Conducive. Yeah, for consistency, for I think. Speed right. control. Yeah, you got to have that pause to determine how hard you're right. hitting the ball. Doesn't look like he has to do much here, as long as he goes forward just a hair. Even even if he stops the ball, I think he's he's okay. Okay, there's the forward just a hair. Do you roll forward here, Bobby? Is that what you do, or? Uh, because there's a I'd lot go of two rails. Yeah, two rails forward. Forward, yeah. Think, think yeah. two rails. And, and But I, this is a little funny. Yeah, he's got to put a lot of spin on there to make sure it goes forward and go to the uh You know, it might not be table. bad to go backward and, just, and try to go and into always, 13. Always be in play going backwards. That's probably exactly what going he's going forward, he's both. Going forward, he's crossing the line, yeah. which I don't like. Right to the 13. Oh, and he kissed it bad. That was a little unfortunate because he had the whole table. He hit it too hard. Yeah. You see how hard right. he hit it? Yeah. Hard to have good speed control stroking the cue that fast, but yeah, he's play, he still plays good. But Jump shot. Yep. Got to get the jump cue out. Now, I tell you, Bobby, I think I've never heard anybody say this before, but if you have a jump cue, why don't you have it out already screwed together? <laughs> I just said it like I, yesterday. I know. You're with me. Wouldn't you go ahead and just have it ready? Have it ready. <laughs> go to your bag, get it out, screw it together. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd have it ready have to it go. Ready. That way you're not fumbling and wondering. Or else why I have not. one. Right. I have to say I'm guilty of that. In fact, I'm worse. My uh, like my my extension, it's in a it's in a sleeve, and it like takes forever to get it out of there because it's real. T it's not easy. It's not a zipper compartment or something like that. I'm fumbling around with it trying to get it. And I can't even remember what I was shooting at by the time I get to the table. Yeah. Wow, this is a tough jump here too. Yeah, because from he's here, a jump and cut. And not scratch. Yeah, not. This is this yeah. is this is this is not easy. But if he's used to it, yeah. Boy, he's got a pie. He's fast and loose. <laughs> he's winded up. Well, that's so high. Whew. Landed right on top of that ball. He did, not he? He did, didn't he? <laughs> well, I think it was on the second bounce, but still, <laughs> it was some serious height. Not a bad leave. It's no sellout, but in I know uh, what I would do. Safety. I just pass that 13, right. knock it out, and put the cue ball behind there, and he'd be jumping again. Right. It's got about s four feet of room to land yeah, on. Yeah, I'd here. get ball in hand here. I wouldn't be trying to run out from here. The problem is that between the nine and the 14, a uh, 10 and the 14 is space. So if he rolls forward. He'd be liable to just lay it there. Now, if I, this I ball is easy, shoot it. But if it's not easy, it's not. Look this. Look at this shot. I wouldn't shoot this ball. I'm getting ball in hand here. I'm hooking him again. Well, he's shooting. He's confident. Coming straight across. 
He's a confident player to be shooting this one because this ball can be missed. He's shooting is going straight across, so it's, it's oh my god, he Look made at this. the eight. And he ball. made the eight. Ouch. God, we didn't see that. Did you see that? No, coming? no. It not didn't look at like all. it didn't look like that would go. Not did at it? all. Well, Where did that come from? That's another point for still smoking. Well, that's a bad roller. It looked like it'd go way past it. It looked like it was well, well. You'd never believe that you would have scratched it there. I don't think you would have even thought about and shooting. We got we got Fedora over here on the other table with ball in hand. With that's Tim Roberts. <laughs> all the stri stripes hanging. He's got a hanging. ball in hand. She shoots this 12, and uh, if he gets on the 10 and 9. I believe he'll get out. I like this guy's style. He plays pretty good. There you go. Now it's wide open. Although he'd like to got down here closer to the 15, because yeah. now he's going to have to leave. He's going to have to leave the last. The, all right. If he makes the nine, he's going away from the I 15. Know. If he shoots the 15, he's going away from the nine. If I was going to shoot the nine, I'd shoot the ball on the side next and then shoot the come 15. Come back. Come back. All right. Wouldn't you? Absolutely. I'm getting it off. Get there for the 10 ball. Come right back for the 15. Right. He's got I wouldn't there. leave it. I wouldn't leave it to where you got to shoot something like that and draw Slow the ball and all six that. feet. Right. You know. Just spin right down there. Shoot the nine, spin down from the ten. And then shoot the ten and spin down for the fifteen. Right. That's the right shot. I bet he does it. You watch. He's pretty mm -hmm. smart. I bet that's what he does. Watch. Well it could have come he could come up. Oh, he's got there. I think he's got an angle. I can't tell what he wait, see if he shoots he's his fifteen next. He's if he does, he's he's a pretty smart eight ball I player. I think so. I think so. I think he just has to stun this down. Yeah, he's got the right angle. See? Stunning it down. He knows. Good shot, Tim. See? Good shot. What do you think about that, YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's the right shot. I hope he didn't get too straight on this. Oh, uh, a big sigh. Uh oh, he, he did. Got, he got a little straight. Uh oh. I'll just cut it he as, did. as He's little like as possible to go forward and take the long 13. Oh, he looks like he's digging. Well, like it's he just like a hair, too. He looks like he's drawing this ball. He is. The touch well, on the eight is is a little bit of a unfortunate. He was looked to be like he was going to be he perfect. He hit it nice too. Yeah. I hit it pretty good. Now the I think he can huge. spin. Spin, miss the eight. Well, he's go got to miss it. the eight, but he's got he spins the heck out of that ball. Watch. Oh man, that's nice. He spun that ball nice, nice. huh? Nice. Stay off that pocket. Boop. Good job. This guy can spin his rock. I like it. Eight ball in the lower ref right pocket in a second. Oh, yeah. Dead straight. Nice job, Tim. That's a nice that's, out. That's a nice out from there. Especially. Plus, I like his game. He plays Yeah, He had fast to break out that first, those two balls in his ball in hand. They just Where's came. Where's this guy funny. from? They're, from? they're shooting out of Oregon, Ohio. Ohio, huh? No, yeah, I like yeah, that yeah. out, man. Yeah, he got out more than Ohio. Look at this. All right, so they're up 11. I mean, they've just been running here. They're still smoking team. And this is Jonathan Lopez. Jonathan is shaking his head, and he actually got pretty good. And this just kind of shows how, uh, you know, their team is sliding away. Just a little roll this ball. Okay. Well, you okay. Got there. All right. Could have gotten bad there, but he's okay. Just bunt this ball in and flick your bead and off to the next. Move the coin. Right, Bobby, moving the coin? Yep. <laughs> Yeah, the team's already swiped their coin. They're on, they're past ten. Wonder how many people watching and understand what I just said. Swipe the coin. When you did sets like that, counting on the rails, I was counting on the diamonds. Did you go around the world with your coin, or did you swipe at ten? I kept going. <laughs> and then when they cross, you can't remember whose is whose. We had Shane Van Boning versus Francisco Bustamante. They were going to like 25. So they were going around the world a couple of times. Oh, they were yeah. both doing that. Yeah, which you know, way do like I go? Exactly. Swipe the coin. You forgot. <laughs> yeah, you forget which Swipe way you're even going. All right. Swipe it at 10. Go right back to the, the start at 10. Surely you can remember your past 10 or 20. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So it looks like. Uh, and I've always, I always start. At the end of the diamond where you break the balls from. Right, I've right. seen people start, start the, the other, other end. end. That doesn't make That's any sense really to confusing. me. That's really confusing. doesn't make any sense. You know? Yeah, I always start at the bottom on the middle of on the middle diamond, you know, on the bottom. Right. <laughs> I've seen them start the end like, where are you going? Like, yeah. you got one? No, you got five. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. 
Yeah, if you start in the middle diamond, you count to nine to the other diamond, you swipe it back to the beginning when you hit 10. <laughs> Learn something out there. Eleven to balls six, still good over smoking. there. And that, yeah, that was team captain uh, Larry Romero breaking for Latin Smoke. Latin Smoke plays out of Lil's place, out of Denver, Colorado. Oh, we got Give two Latin. Big, yeah, yeah, it's their break. It's their round to break. This is Leonard Romero. Leonard Skinnerd. Leonard Romero breaking again from the second ball. See how his break is. No one's popped the cube off the table yet. Here come with the balls. Breaking fourth quarter, I'm at second ball. He better change, buddy. Here come it's breaking. This second ball break ain't working. Yeah, and there's no first shot. Maybe the one ball. Maybe the eleven. The, the one ball. The eleven goes. I'm freezing to death. <laughs> The 11 goes, does it? You're saying yeah. 11 ball? I but don't know if it's the right goes. shot or not. I, I, don't, I, just I don't think he has a chance to shoot this ball, can he? Yeah. Or is he shooting off the 7? No, it goes. Just cut it in. Look, just thin it in. goes off the 4, right? That's a lot of stroke for the first shot. A lot of balls are going to be flying, but then again, they'll be all wide open. There. <laughs> I can't tell from here, Freddie. <laughs> When the balls break like that, I don't even like to look at it. <laughs> Much less try to figure out what they have to shoot at. You know? Man. Well, he's looking at something here. I think the low balls might be the good shot here. Seven in, uh, so I keep three ball in the corner pocket. And if he can get the seven four, which I think he can. He's shooting the, the solids. Yeah. If you can get this four out of there, the seven goes. I think the seven passes. It does. Yeah, yeah, it does. It does. Who, who's shooting now? Is it Latin smoke or is no? It this is still, still smoking. smoking. Sean Davis, the team captain. I'd shoot the four and I'd make sure I drew way drew back. He's going to the, you know. Hmm. He looks like he's drawn for the six ball. He's got the head shake. See, we get the head shake from behind. I would draw back and spin into those balls and either shoot the one, the five, the two, something, because something's going to happen when you're going to get shot. A lot of times like this, you don't have to play for like position on one on a specific ball, right? Ball. I'd really right. just go in there, somewhere up there, and try. And that's the way you play eight ball. It's exactly right. Sometimes you just kind of play for an area, and surely to goodness you got a shot. Yeah, there, right don't there. Call him, don't call me sure. Shirley. <laughs> <laughs> if he plays there, he's got the one and the five. So yeah, straight back draw. Going to the short rail. I'd spin off the short rail. I see. I wouldn't go try to. No, he hit it good. He's okay because he's got the seven if he needs All it. Kind of Hold stuff. it. Hold it. Yeah, the seven goes. Seven he's still good. goes. I yeah, it think. Goes. Yeah, it does. He's grimacing. The five ball goes up table, doesn't it, if he really had to? Surely, surely. Here we go again. That was a face grimace. I, it was a face grimace. He mu it mustn't lay too well here. <laughs> when did you start that? Is, is, that? is that something you started last year or something? I think I started that, like, last week. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people have been grimacing. He's playing... Um, Seven, somehow. Yeah. Hit it, hit it easy. Look, he now he didn't block the pocket. He did block the pocket, he's so right. he's got to get down there. Can you shoot the five and the roll five. up? We'll see. I think he's spinning the one. Oh, this, this is getting. He's got to get good on this shot because he's out of line. Yeah, yeah that's where he wants it. Spinning the one. This is going to have a lot of spin because he has missed the nine. So it's going to be all spin to get him over Where there. You, where's he trying to go next? What did you, th what did you think? He, that that angle right okay. there. And he's got to miss the nine. He's got to miss the nine. So he put an angle there, but uh, that wasn't the angle because he can't get to where I he don't, just put I'm, a stick. I don't think he can get there. I think he's going to hit the nine, Freddie. Here we go. I don't like this at all. I wouldn't be surprised if he missed keys. I wouldn't be surprised if he hits the nine right in the back of the head. And he hit it as good as he could, too. And buddy. the six ball passes there. So, oh, he got it in the side yeah, pocket. So he's he out. made a great shot. Because he didn't have but like a hair to get right, by that right, nine, right? To get to the angle. It, it, the line he put wasn't there because he'd have to go through the nine. He came to the left side of the nine and, well, he came up short but hit the six ball full in the face. You just make this ball and you can, you can you roll this ball, Bobby, or you go, you stun it over to play for the two. 
I'd roll this ball over, shoot the five on the side, over yeah, there on the left on side. side. Yeah. Just roll up about two inches, you know, an inch past where it's sitting. Get up there. Just you like see, here's the problem. He's is that a little he's short. short. <laughs> he might, uh, he might can, might can or might could. He might can draw it back. I don't know the, the don't conjugation know the in, in the Southern English. I don't even know what that means, <laughs> conjugation. <laughs> You must have went to college, did you? <laughs> did you go to college? I did. I oh have my degree. I, have my I degree. went to two weeks in the ninth grade. Oh, I know. He told me. He can make this two. If he can make this two ball, he just slides up for the five on the side. Does the two go? See, this is why I'd like to, he on just that last it. shot, slide it over for the two right then. He just did the head shake. Yeah, of course. In the, the mouth grimace. He oh, did do the, the mouth grimace. grimace, all right. <laughs> Are we going to get in trouble for saying that? Probably, you know. No, but it's good. Don't be calling all these I, grimaces. All I can tell you one thing is is I ain't saying that bad about their playing because these guys are sh good shooters. Shooting good. They're playing good. All right. He's decided he's going to nip draw this, just hold it as much as he can, maybe with a touch of inside. Oh, nothing to it. <laughs> nothing to it. This will put him on the hill if he makes this. But now where's the eight go? Can he... Uh, he's going. Is he going forward? Drawing straight back. No, he's going oh, forward. Oh, nice job! Oh, that's there. That's shot. a nice shot. Boy, I can't believe he he hit that so good. He missed that fifteen. Yeah, missed, that a, fi nice. missed a fifteen by uh, just a millimeter. All righty. That yeah. was a nice, a nice pattern. And we're gonna when he makes this, we're gonna immediately switch over to the other table. Once he makes this, that puts nice. him to the hill, and we're gonna switch immediately to the other table. Oh, this is oh, this is over if he makes this. Look, that's right. Here we go. Because if uh, if if Jeremy Edwards gets this eight ball, this would be the game set and match. Here we go. Jamie Jeremy Edwards for the win. And it's in. Well, that's it. Fans, I'm off here for the next match because. Freddie and George is up. Bobby, once again, it's pleasure. been enjoyable. It's been enjoyable. And congratulations to Still Smoke, and we'll see you in a bit.